friends, it's Jenna. It is a beautiful autumn sunny day. I'm really excited to be doing a little unboxing and a little crafty project using a special bonus sticky kit that's come out this month. Obviously you know that I do, um, I'm quite enjoy Doing, coming up with different projects using washi tape and stickers so I'm really excited to be bringing these projects to you every now and then just some ideas of ways that you can use the washi tape that you might already have and the stickers your favorite stickers as well or even the actual sticky kits if you do subscribe to these these beautiful combo kits so as you can see there's two packages I'm so excited so I have the June sticky kit pack here and there's also a bonus sticky kit pack this month so so I'm going to open them both up separately and um, I'm going to share with you what's inside and do some creative projects with these. I'm excited. This is probably the first bonus kit I've ever received. Um, I absolutely adore this washi tape. It looks like paint strips and it also looks like different styles of washi tape collage all together. So I definitely will be using this. So I opened up from the bag and there was another little bag inside in this brown paper bag and I already can see this beautiful fireworks celebration sticker that's on top of the bag. So I'm going to be really, really gentle as you know I love to use all my packaging. So if you want an idea of opening something up where there's a sticker, um, just cut down um, the bottom of the bag. Oh my god! So excited I'm just really going crazy well I always go crazy for anything um, to Jap Japanese themed um, oh wow I can already oh my god so we've got washi tape stickers um, oh my god there's like so many different surprises in here um, oh look at the cool fan so the theme for this bonus sticky kit is called Matsuri and what that represents is the Japanese holiday and festival time. So some of um, parts of Asia don't always celebrate Lunar New Year so they have Matsuri which is abundant with festivals that go on um, around Japan. Um, I'm going to read you a little bit from a Wikipedia page just so you um, know what it stands for and I'm also educating myself on um, what the festival is as well. So Matsuri is a Japanese word for festival or holiday. In Japan, festivals are usually sponsored by a local shrine or temple. So the Matsuri festival sometimes run in summer or early autumn, and it's usually related to the rice harvest. So the festival celebrations can include everything from elaborate floats, they also um, do lots of Matsuri like markets and fates, I guess what we kind of call them in Australia. Um, so booths selling souvenirs and food such as takoyaki. Also have lots of like goldfish scooping. So that's why there's lots of goldfish themed things as well. Um, karaoke contests, sumo matches. So um, now that we know a bit about it, I'm going to take you through each of these items and show you what's included in this wonderful bonus sticky kit. There's this washi tape by Amifar and I'm absolutely obsessed with this brand Amifar. Um, I always, I, you, you can't really buy this brand online so I w was beyond thrilled um, when yeah I saw this Amifar tape in here. Now these tapes, there's going to be three different tapes of the Amifar collection and you're going to probably get one of them. I'm really happy that I got this one of the children because it just reminds me of, yeah, I don't know, I just love it. It reminds me of like children's day festivals and I just really love character tape. So this is what's actually on the tape here. How beautiful is this fan, this Oriental Berry Inic fan. Oh, it's just beautiful. Like, they make these wonderful like greeting cards in Japan and obviously this has got inside it, you've got the fan and a little note paper and envelope so you could probably send this to someone. I am a sucker, I go crazy for anything sticker flakes. I'm um, really excited to get these. I'm not always a big fan of like, like Sundays type 
like desserty themed stickers but oh my god look this is like traditional Jap Japanese desserts and I'm I love this stuff you got um, your shaved ice cream they also have these booths um, where they have bananas topped with chocolate and sprinkles and I was actually fortunate to um, be at a little festival when I traveled to Japan um, I'll put some photos up on here and I did try that banana chocolate sprinkle I didn't like it, it was weird because I love um, like fresh banana but it just tasted you, you think if you like bananas and chocolate it'll taste nice but I just it, it was all my it was just weird um, I wasn't a big fan of it um, you got your goldfish you got toffee apples um, they're a really nostalgia hit for me um, little booths so they're like the little food booths maybe that's actually the takoyaki celebration shirt and some more food so beautiful sticker flakes and then what else we have here we have some fan stickers and again, they've got like different patterns like the shaved ice cream, fireworks, the beautiful sparrow, the sparrow birds, um, and they're like the flowers too for, I think they're morning glory flowers. <laughs> Speaking of which, here's a whole sheet with those flowers. This beautiful little cat celebratory envelope that is absolutely adorable. Um, we also have some more cat themed stickers and they've got the classic red gold fish um, so I really like that take on that I love the like tanner butter style I think um, lanterns they're just beautiful there's also a different sticky sheet that's going around there's two will be given one of the two I, I actually have to be honest I really liked I was hoping to get the gold fish and the shaved ice cream version of this um, I love I like this but I really would have loved to get um, the goldfish one with the shaved ice cream. Um, yeah, it's, it's a shame you can't always choose with kits. That's probably one of the things that I kind of get upset with if you're gonna, you don't really have a choice of which, like, out of the two or three washies or stickers you're gonna get. And you might not always get the one you prefer, which is a little bit, if I'm just being completely honest, is my personal um, point of view, is a bit disappointing. So it'd be really good to have been able to pick because, yeah, just, these are beautiful, but there's already, like, the fan ones in this pack. And not to sound, like, unappreciative, like, I just also don't drink alcohol. So I wouldn't really use um, these stickers, but I might be able to re-gift them to a pen pal or just use some of them. But yeah, I don't drink alcohol, so that's a shame. So that's the only thing I just, I, I got FOMO um, because I don't have the other one. And then we've got this beautiful postcard with the polar bear. And then we've got some Sayon washi tape, which again, I really love this brand. And I've only got a few Sayon washi tapes. Um, this one's like a fireworks themed washi tape. And then we've got like, they, they kind of look like balloons. I think they're balloons, this washi tape. So it's like this colorful rainbow balloon washi tape, but I not gonna I don't really see them as balloons like I see them as like candy so that's in the all that's included in the bonus Matsuri kit an extra kit that's come out this month through sticky kit so given that the bonus sticky kit for June is Matsuri Japanese festival theme and it's all about yeah enjoying those scrumptious summery Japanese treats um, I thought I would do something a little bit different. So washi tape and stickers don't just inspire me to get creative um, with crafty projects or documenting in my journal or using for pen pal decoration, but some of the stationery also inspires me to maybe learn about a topic that I didn't really know too much about, which in this case is um, the Japanese festival style stationary for the Matsuri Summer Japan Festivals. So yeah, it allowed me to kind of research about a topic that I wasn't totally too sure about what it was. And it kind of led me to just really kind of um, 
immerse myself in the culture and want to have a go at making something that they would be enjoying at this point of time over in Japan. Kind of makes me feel like I'm in Japan too um, doing this which is always nice. So I thought it would be really great to do a shaved ice DIY. What the shaved ice is, is basically just crushed ice. All recipes are really different. The Japanese do use a mix of like stewed fruits and also condensed milk and different flavored syrups. But I'm kind of going to do my little Aussie Japanese version. So I previously shaved some ice. It's really kind of nostalgic for me because I actually used to have one of those um, snowman style snow cone DIY makers when I was a child. And me and my sister would just love playing with that all the time. They also did like a Snoopy version. So I don't know if any of you guys remember that. So a little bit of nostalgia hit. So. I'm just really excited to be making um, this project so I'm going to show you. It's so simple to do. So you just get, um, I would recommend doing two trays of ice cubes and blending them in a blender. And then you can use, um, for, in Australia we've got like strawberry cordial or syrup. So I've got that. I've also got like this cute little ramekin because I really like the look of the shaved ice. How it's kind of in those little miniature bowls. And then for added decoration, I wasn't sure which one I was going to use yet, but I've got um, some polka dot straws to drink the syrup out. You'll probably need a little spoon too, so that's why I've got that there for making and enjoying and eating. And then I've gone ahead and made this little um, snow cone themed toothpick um, using the shaved ice cream symbol. So. This is actually the shaved ice cream symbol. If you're at a lot of the Japan festivals or food markets, look out for this symbol because that means that um, they are selling and making shaved ice. Now in Japan, the name for shaved ice is actually called kakagori. Um, they also infuse some of their shaved ice and um, like they use tea and things like that to do their shaved ice. So there's so many different ways you can make it, but I kind of just want to do my own little version of maybe something that maybe you guys already also had at home. You didn't really have to go out and buy anything to make this project. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this. It can get a bit messy. like the look of the shaved ice if you can kind of make it like a little peak as well at the top and as it starts to melt you really got to do this quickly um, but as it starts to melt you can kind of shape it into like a little mound as well um, I'm so sorry this is like a bird's eye view so I've just got that get the syrup and drizzle the syrup on. I decided to go for the red because it looks real Japanese themed. And then once you've got that, you just add your decoration. I think I'm gonna add, um, yeah, the little pink straw. And then there, so there we have it. We've got your very own shaved ice. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this DIY and if you're going to give it a go. Obviously the June summertime sticky kit is very tropical with the pineapple theme. There's also a beautiful kiwi washi tape by Mindwave and then lots of again shaved ice cream and snow bears. And yeah, I've 
just put some pineapple paper and some kiwi paper I had on hand. I was inspired by these stickers and stationery to do like some journaling, just some nostalgic summer memories. So I wanted to share a little book that I found at the thrift store. Everything was really pineapple themed growing up in I guess the 80s um, that pineapple was like really popular and there was this golden circle book that featured lots of pineapple themed recipes and it was just like you'd go to have a barbecue at someone's house or a party and you'd be met with these very colorful tropical treats um, just filled with pineapple there was even savory treats like meatloaf was very popular to eat and everything would be just pineapple would just be included in like every meal I I kind of used um, inspo from that to um, journal some of these memories and also some of my own ones when it came to making my our own shaved ice which we called snow cones in Australia or slushies so I've also gone and journaled about those summer memories and the DIY maker that we actually had at home um, when we were kids so yeah I just I love that you can use stickers and stationery um, to journal your memories so I just have my hobonichi here and I have all the things from the summertime June sticky kit around me just the washi tapes stickers and I've got a few nostalgic memories that I've um, taken from this book here that I showed you and just some other things like I took some photos of my Kendone tablecloth just things that were personally remind me of my Aussie summertime now I'm not a pineapple fan I don't really like pineapple themed things or the taste of pineapple too much but it is a part of um, the Aussie summer so that's why I wanted to include these things and it's also very nostalgic for me I um, really love this envelope I'll probably stick that somewhere else in my Hobonichi um, yeah so I've, I've just scanned in some of the photos from that book to like document in this journal and then I've also got this strawberry shortcake picture it reminds me of one of the cartoon episodes I watched in the 80s as a child and then I've also printed out this is just on standard paper as well some pictures that I took for sticky kit that I'm going to feature on my Instagram account so keep an eye on that and yes yeah, so I have all the things around me really love the polar bear beach washi tape but the real personal items and things that I've personally illustrated and designed I wanted to put some of my own snow cone memories so we had some snow cone makers when we were kids one popular one was this Snoopy one where um, you crush up the ice and then you could make little snow cones they'll be like different flavors and a lot of the kids from Australia I'll probably remember this frosty contraption we had one of these and um, it's got a little penguin bottle um, to flat use for flavoring the little cups it's like a little kit and then you also had these little um, ice block makers as well and some different flavors like cherry or orange or blueberry so um, the these illustrations the frosty one and the Snoopy snow cone these aren't from sticky kit these are things that I've illustrated myself personally uh, please let me know if you do like these because I'm looking at making these for some shop items for some people to use for um, recording their own childhood memories. So please let me know. I do love nostalgia. So nothing stuck down. I've just kind of layered. I'm just playing with the layers at the moment. But I want to use, I probably use some of this paper not from Sticky Kit as well. This paper I might not from Sticky Kit. But definitely the Sticky Kit washi tapes and stickers just given the time of this video i won't be showing a process of this but i just want to show you the before and after so i just stuck everything down um, a lot of these um, scans i did inside the recipe book that i had and then i put my illustrations on just a few tips 
if you don't want to commit to putting something down because this is an artwork that I've done I might want to use it for something else or to scan in um, to use for design purposes I've just um, used some washi tape and stuck it on the back and then stuck it down so I can lift that if I want to and then I've just used a lot of the washi and the sticker um, sticker flakes and then the pineapple themed stickers um, I even used some of the beach themed and yeah there's a few more here and lots of the washi tapes I love this wind try and washi tape this is so cute this bear one and I love this kiwi fruit washi tape as well like just love that so much I always tend to um, hold on to my favorite things so uh, my favorite things were the shaved ice cream and these polar bear illustrated stickers um, so I've used one of them here yeah so there's all I have used a lot from the kit and all the sticker flakes um, I also really just want to discuss because the beach themed stickers really aren't um, to my personal taste as well I do really love this brand Marche so I do love a lot of these stickers but like for example you might have like like I had this pineapple paper I'm not a really big fan of pineapples and tropical stationery like I love Japan summertime style stationery but I'm not a big fan of beach and tropical and that's just a personal choice I think it's fine to be honest about a style you might not like um, and mainly because in Australia we have so much of it here so it's not like it's different or special to me um, but as you can see I want to show you how you can like spin like I guess with a lot of sticker subscriptions things aren't always going to be to our taste or um, I don't know maybe something that you get gifted to you it's not always going to be about your taste but the thing is that you can make it I wanted to show you that you can kind of turn something that's not to your taste to something that you really love so I um, again don't like pineapples or the taste of it but these memories are really important to me just from my childhood and um, I did use some of the beach stickers and I really love how this turned out and so I've kind of used some of the things that are not been um, something that I completely love but now I like really love it like I really love the pineapple paper and I really love um, the stickers that I've stuck down around my illustrated artwork so it's now something that has been used um, which is great but it's also just an example of a way that you can kind of spin um, something that you want to maybe de-stash or you've um, you've been holding on to because you didn't know what to do with it um, it's just a great way yeah of re kind of using it to document maybe a memory or something it doesn't always have to be even a fond memory maybe it's something that someone else likes so um, a lot of these like kiwis are actually one of my favorite fruits and this reminds me of my child because I always preferred um, kiwi and strawberries in fruit salad over rock melon and pineapple and there was always like huge amounts of like the other fruits rather than like strawberries so again it's something that means something special to me or is a bit of a reminder of something that has happened in my life or from my childhood so this is my spread in my Hobonichi journal and I really love making these theme pages so I hope I can share more of these with you soon so thanks guys for watching and let me know what you think of the spread and if you have a little go of the shaved ice DIY as well bye bye for now see you soon guys bye